Hey everybody, Sardik here, and welcome back to even more meme, sorry, not meme review, Kerbal Space Program. And I did some stuff in between episodes, I didn't start a new thing, but I built a new craft. And I thought we'd test it on here, I tested it already, I made sure it works. You can actually land, but the problem is I suck at landing. So, I built something called, and this is totally not copyrighted, <laughs> the Airbus 100. I don't know what the actual Airbus 100 looks like, but we're gonna turn on brakes here. Turn on off the air brakes, please. Oh, crap. No! Oh my god, I'm so glad I didn't do that. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. That could have been bad. But, what we're gonna do here is turn on SAS, and we're gonna do this. And I actually, in order to be perfectly safe, I need to do this just in case I get a little trigger happy. And press space by accident. So, unless, uh, this should take about two minutes to do, hopefully anyways. Um, to complete our ascent and then our relanding. I don't know if we're gonna land from the way from the way that we're taking off, like land the same direction, or we're just gonna turn around, do a sort of light bulb turn, I guess you'll you could call it, uh, and then just flip around. But this should be interesting. So one is to pull up the gear, and this thing literally does not need a lot of force. Like I've been able to pull this thing up at what, like 60 meters a second. I mean, even if it could barely take off, it, it could still. Uh, lift off the ground a little bit at 60 meters a second. That just, so that just gives you an idea on how incredibly amazing this thing is. I'm thinking about like maybe even taking some of the fuel out. Oh, I didn't take the oxidizer out. Yeah, I need to make that change. Oxidize. If I take out the oxidizer and make it a little lighter, maybe pull some of the mass towards the front, make it a small bit more maneuverable. But uh, oh yeah, caps lock. If you press that, or if you have it already pressed and you unpress it. Um, the, you, you see how I, I'm unpressed it and then I pressed it again. You, you see how it's blue, orange, blue, orange, then blue, then orange, then blue. Yeah, blue means aircraft controls and it makes it easier to control. So it's less rigged. So then if I push up, it'll do that. If I hit it and push up, it's not quite as ridiculous. Then let's turn it off. Down. Down. So I think it's a little bit so a little bit softer. Um, I put these weird things, they probably look a little odd, but I don't know where else to really put them. I think it kind of looks nice. And the engine, I was so glad to hear I was actually able to figure out a design that works for this sort of thing, right? I go gear action group. No, pull that back. I already have a button that does that, actually. <laughs> so I guess now, so by the way, doing a vertical doesn't really work in this plane. So either we are going to go around, I'm, you know, I'm going to try a new way. We're going to go back around and go back from there. And then instead of landing from over the ocean, because yeah, and I have a parachute. This thing here, just in case, it's actually saved my Kerbals more than, more than once because I am absolutely horrendous at this game. You guys have no idea, unless you've actually watched me play the game before. In which case, hey, welcome back or whatever, because you know how much I'm bad at this game. So this plane looks amazing. Look at this. Press F2 here. Bum, 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 bum. I like the music in this game also. It's kind of dank. All right, but we are slowing down now. Imagine just being like a passenger aboard my newly crafted Airbus 100. You will totally not die. All right, and then we'd show like uh, the freaking um, U U United Airline memes um, from uh, last year as the safety video. <laughs> Imagine that! <laughs> Please follow our plane rules and stuff, or we'll drag you off the plane. I, I don't know why that was funny. <laughs> I mean, it, like, the situation wasn't funny, but the fact that it happened, and the memes around it, but no, no, not, not the fact that it happened, the memes around it are funny. Because people, some people are just so creative in the memes that they make. It is amazing! Can I do this? Unpress this and go back in? Yeah, because I don't like to have caps lock active. Because I don't like, I only like to have num lock on. I like one light, that's comforting. More than one light, no thank you. How about scroll lock? Oh, no, no, there's a gaming thing, not scroll lock. I do not want uh, scroll lock on. Thank you very much, and we're gonna pull our throttle down just a little bit. So I noticed that every time I go into land, I'm going way too freaking fast. <laughs> and that's a, a literal, legit, a problem every single time. So when I said two minutes, I meant for the bell sort of shaped, sorry, light bulb sort of shaped formation land landing. Um, for this, it's going to take a little bit longer, but it's going to be worth it if you want to see a proper landing. Well, I mean, I'm going to try to land. It's probably not going to work, but I, we can try, right? So I'm actually going to slow down even more here. I'm going to need to accelerate just... You no, know, I'll make it half. Never mind. Um, and we're going to accelerate a little bit more as we... Actually, hmm, 
Something in my teeth. Alright, we're gonna time warp a little bit here. Because I totally forgot that you can do that. Um, I think that's good, and now we can start our turn. So, yeah, it's this way. Let's pull up and start flipping. Boosting our throttle, however. Because we're gonna need it. Just by a little bit, actually. Not by a lot. I don't need it to go up by that much. However, I don't want to fall out of the sky. So I might be tempted to increase it. Yeah. We're going a little bit slowly, however. That might be a good thing. And we're just pulling around here now. Welcome to Kerbal Space Airport. Oh my Jesus. This is way too awkward of a come in. Yeah. And we're coming down. Hot. And this is not good. Maybe I shouldn't have gone, like, all the way around. I mean, that could have been a huge mistake, or I don't know. So, do planes actually, like, turn this slowly in real life if you're a pilot in real life? I I'd be interested to know. So, I guess we're just coming in this side now. So, I think uh, what I want to do is pull up, first of all, because that is way too low of an angle. <laughs> no, no, no shirt, boy. That is way too low of an angle, so I guess we cut the throttle even more here, because I definitely do not want to be coming in... Oh my god. Can I just glide here? Because, like, do you see how high up I am? The runway is at, like, 72 meters. L uh, legit, fam. And let's pull out this. Yes, the gear has descended. You can see the shadow of the plane right now. I'm tempted to save, but I don't want to save also. Yeah, cut the engines. Cut the engines. Cut the engines, boy. Oh my god, are we actually gonna land it first try? Ah, uh, that's- this is all the things out of a video I would not have expected. Oh my god! Jesus Christ! Ah! Oh my god, the Kerbals are still alive! We landed it! Yes! <laughs> that's a technical landing. You know, I'm, I'm just gonna count the doors landing, I don't even care at this point. That was brilliant! We Can we flip it over? Yeah. I might have broken something <laughs> rather important. Um, oops. Yeah, I think we're good to recover vessel. What, what exactly did I break? <laughs> oh my god. That is amazing. Yep. Okay. So what did I break? Space plane hangar. I damaged something there because the ground was not <laughs> broken like that before. Oh my god. Wow, that is... Holy crap. I actually want to try and fix it. <laughs> I really busted that thing up. So let's take a closer look. I said, let's take... Okay. You, you can see there, it's totally broken. That repair facility. <laughs> so I blew that up, whatever that was. Probably the fuel. So... So now... Yeah, that was actually really fun to fly. So now instead of this Airbus 100, which is mostly a success... If, 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 if you do it... If you come in slow enough, you can land it. I actually landed it before. I don't know if I already said that, but I might have. But um, it, it will land if you do it correctly. So unfortunately, you can't put the giant engines on these things. You have to go like with the whiplash engines. So I'm going to try like this, right? I'm going to put some crew on here because planes are... How about we pretend this is a Learjet? <laughs> um, actually, are there longer ones? There are... Oh, my God. Just imagine flying a plane like that. <laughs> um... Bum, bum. I must say, the music in this game is very nice. How about um, we put a fuel tank? All right. So I worked a little bit on this design here. I'm not sure what I'm going to call it yet. And you know what? How do we call it? Uh, so not violate copyright. Pair Jet 100. <laughs> what a brilliant name. Oh, my God. So I repositioned these. I'm not sure how it's going to go. I mean, it doesn't work perfectly, of course, because it's weird. Um, the way Kerbal Space Program likes to work is just a little strange sometimes. Oh! I just do it right there, I can pull them back. Yeah, I wanted them to be exactly straight. So let's offset this. Yeah, perfect. This is exactly what I want. I just wanted to them, I wanted them to be over, no, 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 not over that. A little higher up. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's exactly where I wanted it to be. Very nice. Alright, let's save that, because, yeah, I wanted, again, two of them there, because I think it looks cool. Yeah, one for each engine. So, these are the whiplash engines, I think. Wait, I want to move these a little more inwards. A little more up, please. Yeah, like that. All right. So they're pretty much exactly over the engines now. It's not perfect again, but it's fine. So now we're going to put bigger engines on it. I'm thinking maybe swept wings or... Well, I need to pull up the center of mass and the center of aerodynamic overlay. 
That's too far forwards. <laughs> That's way too far. I want it to be like back here. Actually, this is perfect. I barely need to put any wings on this thing for it to fly properly. My god. I wonder. Can I put these on it? <laughs> Those are just ridiculous wings. Those are... It looks like a human almost with like <laughs> arms that are just way too big for them. <laughs> Alright, swept wing type A. Um, I want to put more than one set of wings on this though, even if I don't need to. Okay, fine, you know what? It looks a little bit cooler if they're all in the back, so, you know, whatever. What? Oh, the bicoupler. Yeah, of course, this thing doesn't have it. I'm emptying all the liquid fuel out of that, thank you very much, and I'm moving these forwards. Just, oh, I said symmetry, please. Um, yeah, like that. So this thing is going to be insanely overmaneuverable, but that's a good thing. I hope. <laughs> so what sort of... Yeah, those, those were tail fins. Do I need, like... Uh, no, I don't think I need control surfaces. I don't think so. Um, yeah, I wanted to put a tail fin on the front of the plane. Because that makes sense. Uh, it also... Nah, a smaller one, actually. That's too large. How about advanced canard? Now that just looks dumb. <laughs> oh, I also need to figure out this, the wheel situation on this on this tiny plane. We just put this thing on. <laughs> um, okay, I'm done screwing around, actually. Standard canard. That doesn't look bad. It's different than the ones in the back, and it's somewhat what I want. Yeah, we'll, we'll use that one. Very nice. So now let's pop some wheels on this baby. Um, let's try... I need... No, 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 not medium. That's way too gigantic. Uh, one nose gear. And you sort of want it to surround the center of mass so it's equally balanced. That, that's what I figured playing this game before. And, um, is that centered? Yeah, it is. Very nice. So, can I put l medium ones on the wings? Uh, I actually want to symmetrify that. Thank you very much. Uh, rotating. 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 There we go. Those are gigantic! Oh my god, that's tilted weirdly. Alright, let's rotate these. Bleh. Come on, rotate. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Pull that up a little bit. Pull j just a little bit. Oh, that's the stuff. That's exactly what I want. Assuming it doesn't merge and break or whatever. So now, now that th that bit's done, we can stop paying attention to that. Um... Oh, I want this gear move forward a little bit. That looks kind of ugly. Yeah, just just a small bit. That's not a small bit. Maybe up? No. I'd prefer to just click on it and move it, actually. Like that. Yeah. That's far forward enough. It was way too far back, in my opinion, before. All right. So now we can start working on... I'm just going to disable these. Yeah, all of them. We're going to set up the action groups. So, um... Yeah, gear... So I just click on that button to do that. Um, oh, I want arrow brakes. I almost forgot. Um, hold up. Um, wait. Are these rotated off slightly? I can't tell. I'm going to need to fix that. If they are. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> They're not rotated correctly. They're not aligned. Okay, this calls for fixing. How did that happen? Seriously. It's not even straight. Alright, just control Z. I don't even care. Um, yeah, so we got the gear organized, and now I need to put in air brakes. Because air brakes are absolutely essential. Aerodynamics. Air brakes, yeah. They come from an abbreviation. Here is your abbreviation, scientists. Um, yeah, I'll put those there. No, oh, those merge with it. And I think I only want two on... No, only want four on here. So it doesn't look r too ugly. Because <laughs> it already looks sort of dumb. Um, and I'll wire those air brakes to number one here. So we pull up custom one. We can click on this and toggle them, right? You see that, man? Hell yeah, man. All right. Just clicking that to one and let's save again. Anything else I can wire? Oh, yeah. I need to wire these engines. Uh, pardon me. <laughs> Uh, let's see what we can do with these engines. Toggle engine. What? Gimbal? Oh, these engines can do gimbal. Okay, that's nice to know. Uh, let's have this toggle the engine. And this is two. 
All right, let's save and let's launch. This looks pretty successful. All right, building awesome new planes that are definitely gonna work. I can assure you this plane is gonna fly properly. Hey, look, hey, look, look at this thing, man. It definitely looks like a plane that wants to fly. Definitely. All right, let's do this up, do this up, and let's launch. I didn't put parachutes on this, but that's fine. Let's go. What, what did I do? What did I do? I need to air intakes. How did I forget that? Asks if he's forgetting something. Forgets to put freaking air intakes on it. What a noob. All right. I think we have our final design here, and this should work. And not screw up this time like I did last time and put the air intakes right on the side there. Uh, I can't actually toggle those. Oh, I should bind it. Okay, it doesn't matter if I bind an action group, actually. I can do that manually. Let's go! And these engines are extremely... I love the effect that come out of these engines. It's like tiny little circles. See that? But my god, those are some colors, boy. Sometimes when I increase this. Yeah, this plane is going to get in extreme velocity in absolutely no time. And it's tiny, and it's fast, and look, I can... What happened to take off? Do I really need control surfaces for this freaking thing? Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> this time, we got some control surfaces on this guy. And you can see now that they're actually working. So let's do this and do this and let's go, man. Thank goodness I... Wait, how how many meters a second of delta V do we need to take off the ground? How many? How many? Come on, let me have it. Really, it needs more than 100? That's kind of disappointing. Come on, take off. Take off. Seriously, you're not going to take off? Oh! How fast does this bloody plane need to move in order to take off? Seriously. How fast did you need to move? Or are you really that stiff? Is there something I need to like add to make it more maneuverable? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. But we are going insanely bloody fast, which is probably not good. So let's just slow down a little bit here. Let's ro oh my god, yeah, it rotates extremely well. Uh, I'm just gonna caps lock that here. Make it easier to maneuver, and we're gonna start pulling around. Turn right. Left, sorry. And this thing burns through fuel insanely quick. Okay, maybe it's just how fast the engines are going that I can't land. Oh no, what did I press? Oh no, not again. Well, this plane is a total failure. Oh crap, we're going down. Okay, so I modified the design just a little bit to see if maybe if the plane is a little bit smaller. Yeah, like this, this is so small. Like this tiny thing, maybe it'll have a better time taking off. So let's try that theory now. I don't know how it's going to go. It's going to take less Delta V to actually lift off the ground, though. Or I'm hoping so anyways. So let's try lift off here. And this... Oh, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, my God. Why do the planes always break? All right. Looks like we're good so far. We've already gained so much speed on the bloody launch pad. We actually went really fast. All right. So I think the problem is these just aren't working. We're not pulling up for some reason. So we, we got to find something that is going to pull up. So I'm thinking about attaching tail fins, but I don't know how that's going to go down. So let's detach these for a second. And yeah, that has their own thing. And let, let have we put these on the side? Just like snap them on there. Very nice. <laughs> that looks so dumb. Um, then we can pop these on the bottom here. Very nice. Like that. Yeah! Doesn't that look cool? Or maybe the wheels screwed me over last time. That's actually kind of probable. Let's see how these are rotating. Those are not that straight, but it's better they push in than push out, I think. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Don't care. Too bad you can't make really micro adjustments. Wait, can you? Local? Absolute. Hold on. Oh! I can fix that to the exact that I want. Okay, very nice. Now, now let's move this thing back. That, that was too far forward. Yes, I didn't think it would actually, I'd be able to do that. Very nice. Very, very nice. Do I say that too much? I don't know. But the next thing we're going to do is take off these engines, because they're obviously too powerful. You know, engines, not fuel tanks. 
And I know these aren't as cool, but I think these are the engines that are going to do it for us. So let's snap two of these on and see how it goes. Okay. This is all done and dandy. Let's launch and see how this goes. No idea how it's actually going to go, but it should look awesome. Look at that, boy. So these things are... Oh, they do have gimbal. Actually seeing it now. That's pretty very nice. So if we can actually achieve some sort of lift off here, that would be great. Yeah. Notice that, like, the plane tilts up a little bit. As it rightfully should. But it's still not taking off. Oh my god. Why does it not take off until it's left the runway? And we're still climbing! We can do a 50... <laughs> That's almost a vertical. That's really crazy. Can we do a vertical, actually? Let's try it. Doing a vertical. Doing a flip. Oh my god, you can do flips in this thing. That is so epic. Reversing. Coming in for a landing. Actually, no, we're two kilometers up in the air. We're not doing that. Um, Pulling the gear up. My god, that is pretty insane. Uh, This plane actually kind of works. <laughs> Surprisingly enough. All right. We're pointing down to gain some air speed because we are going so slowly. Yeah, there we go. So doing a vertical was a really bad idea. But it looks like it actually works this time. It'll actually pivot w uh, when it rightfully should. So let's gain some speed and we'll make our way over to that island base over there. Or maybe we'll just swivel around and land again. Because that was awesome. Wait, how do our air brakes work? Yeah, they're one, right? That'll start to slow us down by a lot. We're just retain our speed. Uh, whichever one it pleases. So let's start moving over to this base because we have enough aerospeed to, to sustain ourselves. I must say this is probably one of the smaller crafts I've ever piloted. This thing is legit tiny. It's so small of an aircraft. And I have not lined in correctly. Just, I need a minute to line this up or I am so gonna die. Um, yeah. We're gonna crash. <laughs> Alright, we're putting down the gear and preparing to land. My god, that gear is massive and is definitely going to slow us down on our, um, in here. On our coming into this tiny little airport. Yeah, we actually landed here before. I remember that. I remember. Oh, uh, yeah. Deploying air brakes. Hopefully I'm not stopping too short of the runway. Because that would be bad. Okay. We're going a little bit low in, but we're going to start pulling up now. Come on, just land it for the mother of god, please. Just do it. Lord of all butts, Jesus. Brakes! Lock it up! Lock it up! Yeah! Oh my god, we landed it again. This is the best plane. My god. What a thumbnail also. Putting those down. <laughs> I don't know what the thumbnail is going to be. It's probably going to be the other... It's probably going to be the other plane that I built because of how much I like it. <laughs> uh, I am definitely not biased. Oh, do I have wheels actually? Yeah, I'm using electric charge, but like it doesn't even matter. And now I'm just generating it back. Yeah. So I use electric charge to move around. That's pretty cool. And I've been doing testing for so long that, like, it's actually starting to affect some stuff. So hold up. I'm actually going to toggle the brakes action group here. I want to generate some electricity. Because I want this to be fully charged. Yeah, and it's going to be charged here in a second so I can move around properly. But yay, we actually landed it here. But the next challenge is... Can we take off again and land it at the other airport? That, that shadow just jumped. That was not natural. So we're, we're going to line this uh, guy up again at the runway. We're going to turn off the brakes action group. We're going to go back. And n then we're going to try to take off once again. So this thing actually has a really good turning thing. This thing can turn ins insanely bloody well. I'm extremely surprised at how well it can actually turn. Yeah, I'm just going to boost a little bit here because of how freaking impatient I am. Just want to get the other side of the runway, man. Um, so yeah, we'll cut back once we're ready to launch. And we are taxiing to runway, uh, one left now. Uh, yes, air traffic control, we are ready to take off. We have, uh, definitely read our IFR clearance or whatever. No, VFR. No, IFR, yeah. Because I, 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 I can only do IFR. Alright, uh, I'm not lined up. Hold up. I gotta line up a little bit here. Alright, are, are we lined up? I think we are. Alright, um, uh, those of you who are seated in this aircraft at this time, please be known that we are about to take off. This has been, this is Captain 202, please fasten your seatbelts and prepare for takeoff. We are carrying no passengers, as you can see. 
<laughs> It'd be cool to actually carry some people, but I don't want to kill Kerbal, so... Uh, let's start the engines and take off. We are taking off now. My god, that's got to be a lot of Gs. Taking off! This plane is so light, also. My god! Woo! So there's to be someone on the ground. And at the end, we just take off. I, I, it, it has to be something to do with the wheels. Maybe if I took off the wheels a little bit earlier. No, no, no. I don't want to climb this high that time. I don't want to climb that high this time. That was a huge mistake, actually, flying that high. Because, <laughs> like, I didn't realize how much of a, a, a mistake it would actually be to overkill that height. But I guess now we have learned, or I have learned at any rate. So I'm going to do a little bit of flying. And we'll be there in a minute, hopefully. For you guys, it's going to be, like, two minutes because of editing. And then, for me, it's going to be, like, five minutes. Yeah, so it's more than, I'd say, maybe 110 degrees off. So we'll, we'll be there in a little bit. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take a little while, but we'll, we'll, we'll be there soon. I'm hoping so anyways. <laughs> All right, we are almost there. And I was right when I said it would take a minute. It took us pretty much no time to get over here, which is, uh, well, almost no time. It took, like... Maybe five minutes to get over here, which I'd say kind of amazing due to how much I suck at flying planes in video games. You guys know how bad I am at video games from watching me play freaking Amnesia or the works. I am literally, I'm legit fam, so bad at games, but it doesn't make me not want to play them, which is probably a good thing. All right, we're coming in for our land in here. I'm going to cut the engines in a second, pulling up, throttling down the engines. Well, as soon as we get over the runway a little bit more, I am going to engage the air brakes. Engaging air brakes now. Engaging gear. Trying to cut the engines. Oh my god. Engines cut. And we're going down. But not that kind of, uh, Houston, we have a problem going down. The kind of going down that makes you think, are we going to live on this landing? Is the captain genius enough? Pulling up. Oh my god. Thank Christ. Oh my god. I so thought we were going to die on that. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, we actually landed. Amazing. We actually landed. Congratulations, everybody. You are all alive. All zero passengers alive in there. And we didn't even use a quarter of our fuel. That is amazing. But, oh my. <laughs> I can't believe I actually landed that. That is awesome. Like, flying from there and back to here in one go. I mean, I, I made saves because I, I made saves just in case. But I, w I was so scared that I wasn't going to be able to do it. But, oh my god, I'm so glad that's that was actually able to be done. But we're going to leave it here. I hope you guys enjoyed, pardon me, Jesus, this epic episode of Planes. Um, that was really enjoyable to do. And hopefully you guys are still enjoying Kerbal Space Rim. I know it's been a little while since I've done an episode of this. And I feel like this is a uh, good note to come back to Kerbal Space Program on. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.